this video, we are going to talk about how to find the expected value, standard deviation, and variance of a discrete random variable. Alright, so first of all, the expected value, so we use the, uh, the letter mu, so mu is equal to expected value, the E means expected, random variable x, so that is equal to the sum of x times okay, x times p of x so x is the outcome p is the probability corresponds to the specific outcome so this is called expected value what is expected value expected value it has another name that is called a long-term average So long-term average. And then the next one, we have a variance. So that is sigma squared. That is the variance of x. So that equals to the sum. You take each outcome, subtract the expected value. You square the result. And then you times the probability. So that gives you a product, right? And then you do this for every single outcome. Okay, so the sum is equals to variance. And then... The variance, the variance has a square, right? How do you get rid of the square? You take the square root of that. So the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So this one is standard deviation. Let's use a very simple example. So how about this? So let's say uh, we have x, a random variable x is the result of a game. So x is the result of a game whatever game that is of a game and then I will give you the probability distribution of this random variable x so we have x and then we have its probability so let's say that one of the result is negative 6 we can get a negative 2 uh, we can get a 4 uh, we can get a 9 and then the probability to get a negative 2 is 0.3 the probability to get a negative 6 is 0.2 the probability to get a negative point negative 2 is 0.3 uh, this is a point 0.4, this is a point 0.1, so they add up to 1, so that is a valid probability distribution, and then how do you find the expected value? So here is how, so the expected value is equal to the sum of x times its probability, so you take the first x times its probability, and then you take the next x times its probability, and then plus the next x times its probability, and then plus the next x times its probability. So the sum is equals to 0 0.7, right? So equals to 0 0.7. Uh, so what is 0 0.7 mean? So mu is equals to 0 0.7. So that means every time you play this game, I expect that you get x equals to 0 0.7. So let's say that represents a score. So every time you play this game, I expect you to get a 0 0.7. The 0 0.7, the long-term average, it doesn't have to be one of the x value. This is just in theory, all right? Just in theory. Everything has a theory. When, when you drive, yeah, when you press the gas, there are some theory behind this action, right? When you hit the brake, there are some theory behind this action. Same thing right here. So when you calculate that, you got a 0.7. So every time you play this game one time, there are some theory happen behind the game so in theory you get a 0 0.7 and then the variance that variance takes a little bit more efforts to calculate so that is variance that equals to the sum of x subtract the mean first square the result times probability so you take the first x subtract the mean square the result and then times probability you plus the next x minus the mean square the result times probability and then the next x minus the mean square the result times probability and then you add the last x subtract the expected value square the result times probability so basically you do the subtraction first square that and then you multiply probability you get a product right so you get a product from every single x you add up the products then you get a variance. So in this one, the variance is equals to 22.41. Uh, that is meaningless because the unit is being square. And then that's why we need to do a standard deviation. So we undo the unit square. We take the square root of 22.41. So we get around 4.73. So how do you explain that? So first of all, allow me to round this to a 5. 
I am going to round the standard deviation to a 5. So let's back to the expected value. Expected value is C equals to 0 0.7. That means every time you play this game, you get the result of the result is you get a 0 0.7. And then what about the what about the phi? So to get the phi, you have to take a 0 0.7 plus or minus 5, meaning that you have a 0.7 minus 5, you have a 0.7 plus 5. So 0.7 minus 5, you get a negative 4.3. 0.7 plus 5, you get a 5.7. So this one, the expected value is a long-term average. You can call it a point estimate. And then this is called interval estimate. What does that mean? That means every time you play this game, I expect you to get a score between negative 4.3 and past the 5.7, which is where? Which is like around right here, right? So which is around right here. But that is, that, that's fine, that makes sense because the highest probability are concentrated in those area. So that's why uh, we take that best guess. So every time you play this game in the long run, I expect you to get a 0.7, but to give you a more flexible estimate, I expect you to get a score between negative 4.3 and past the 5.7. This is more flexible, way better way to estimate because this is an interval estimate. It's way better than a point estimate. Point estimate is you use one number to guess another number, Interval estimate is you use a set of number to guess one number. All right, so that will be the end of this video. In the next video, I will give you a longer example that use all the count, all the all the skills we learned so far. All right, I will see you all in there. How was this lesson? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and share. I see you in the next one.